Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Good morning to you, Church of God. I pray we say God bless you. Good morning to each and every one of you. We say welcome to our National Church of God by Faith prayer call. Once again, I am your host for this National Prayer Call, Minister Cornelius Dunmore, Stark Church of God by Faith, Gainesville District, under the leadership of none other than Presiding Bishop James McKnight, Jr. Uh, we thank God for our district elder and uh, father and superintendent, William McKnight, Gainesville District, and we thank God for each and every one of you in this great Church of God by Faith, and even friends and family, even those in the kingdom of God at large that are joining us on this national prayer call. And so we thank God for the Word of God. I say it before, I say it again. Proverbs chapter 8 is where the Word of the Lord declares, I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. Jesus said in Luke chapter 18 and verse 1, men, and don't, don't get caught up on that, that's mankind, but he said men are always to pray and not to faint, to lose heart to turn coward, to give up, to throw in the towel. That's what he was saying. And so prayer should continue. So we're doing what the Lord told us to do, and we're doing it early when he told us to do it. And there is a double blessing for us doing that. And so we thank God for uh, this time of national prayer. Um, I thank God for a dynamic prayer leader. I'm fired up about, about the woman of God, and that is uh, none other than you know her. She needs no introduction. Glory to God, and that's Mother Vivian Powell, Florida East Coast District. And so we thank God for the woman of God. And uh, as we're gathering together this morning, the national prayer team has asked that uh, we as a church, that we would simply give God thanks. We would thank God this morning for our Stand Your Ground camp meeting that we just departed out of August the 9th through the 12th in Orlando, Florida. We thank God that the National Church of God by faith was rallied together around the Word of God from Ephesians chapter 6, verse 13, where the Lord said, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. That was the charge. That was the trumpet sound that was blasting out of heaven that the people of God rallied around. And so uh, we thank God for that which he did. We thank God for uh, an amazing time, amazing time. There was impartation. There was prophetic word. There, um, there was a dynamic um, uh, power that was unleashed. Uh, there was upbuilding. There was training. There was breakout sessions. There were so many areas and ways in which the Lord uh, blessed, in which he poured out knowledge and understanding unto the people of God, even challenged. Uh, was poured out under the people of God. But I want to tell you this, and before we leave and before we, um, uh, as that is in our rearview mirror, before we go forward, we want to thank God for what he did. We also want to thank God for what he did not allow to happen. We want to thank God for what he prevented, for that which the Lord kept us from, safe travels and all manner of different things that could have gone on. Glory to God. Let's not forget we was in our, we was in this, we were in, glory to God, in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, in recent years, uh, there was a suicide. An individual fell to his death. Glory to God, there's so many things that God did not allow to happen in Orlando, and we should be thankful for that. Uh, the word of the Lord tells us in Joel chapter 2, verse 15, blow the trumpet in Zion. Sanctify a fast, call a solemn assembly. He said, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children. Glory to God. It's, it's meet for the people of God to call a solemn assembly, call a camp meeting, call a time of gathering. That is a part of the will of God, and it's consistent with the Scripture and with the Word of God. And so we heard that this is where we stand. We were charged that there is ground that we must stand on, that we are not, we uh, are obligated, we have a right to stand on, and we must not back up and retreat from that ground. And that ground is the solid rock of Jesus Christ. Jesus said, if the man hears my word and obeys it, I'll liken him unto a wise man that built his house on a rock. And the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew, and they beat upon that house, and it fell not. Why? 
because it was founded on a rock. And that's what we've been charged to do. And so we just want to give God thanks, give him glory, give him praise and honor. Thank him for that which he did. Thank him for the impartation. Thank him for the challenge. And we want to commit to walk in that which we have received. And so we want to declare and we want to lift up and, and share those things. And so with that, we want to pre- prepare now our hearts to receive uh, Mother Powell and um, the woman of God as we go forward. Let's join her and raise our voices in prayer as we go before the throne of God to find grace to help in the time of need. O oh, Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, and thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Thank you, Lord, for waking us early this morning, seeking for guidance. Thank you, Lord, for your grace and your mercy. We love you and we adore you. Thanksgiving for the summer camp meeting that we had in Orlando. Thank God for our bishop and our leaders that you gave wisdom and knowledge and understanding to stand our ground Jesus' way, standing on the solid rock. Your three, two, and three say, Blow the trumpet in Zion. Sanctify the fast and call a solemn assembly. Gather the people. Put on the whole army of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Stand your ground for holiness. We are praying for our leaders from the north to the south, the east and the west, and their wives, that they will stand their ground. We thank God for all the second century, all the young people that were at the convention. Thank God for the choir and the word of life that was imparted in us to stand our ground. We, he sent his word. Psalms 107 and 20 said he sent his word to heal them and deliver them from all their destruction. Our leaders are signing their alarm to the to live holy. That we will put that we will be strong families, better communities and a better nation. Jesus help us to hear the word and put the word in action and be obedient to God and our leaders. May we just May we just call for, it just may call for a miracle. Let your Holy Spirit reign on us this day. We proclaim this season to be a time of favor, blessing, spiritual power, increase, abundantly, and fresh anointing, revelation for the glory of God. We thank God for what he has done in Orlando. We thank God for he, what he did allow to happen, God. We thank you for the people that were traveling on the highways and the byways that you kept us, Lord. We thank you for that this day, Lord. God, we thank you and we praise your name. God, you are worthy to be praised. We owe it all to you because you are worthy to be praised. God, we thank you, God. We give honor to you today. Thank God for our leaders that they are standing their ground for holiness. Holiness, God. We thank you, Lord. Just help us to live a holy life. Help us to hold up the blood stained banner. God, we plead the blood of Jesus over all our families, all our leaders and their wives and their children, children, God. Help us to stand our ground. Lord, we pray all these prayers in the name of our Father, Son, the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness. Thank you, Lord, for your long-suffering, God. Oh, God, when we were so lovable, you still loved us, God. We thank you this day, Lord, that you gave us a chance to make that wrong right. God, look on the seventh century, Lord. Help our young people to see your way, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. God, we thank you today. We give honor to you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, the God of our Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God of our Father. We pray this in Jesus' name, and our souls say amen, amen, amen.
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you,
second century, you ought to be able on your Instagram and on your Facebook posts. You ought to be able to do more than have on a T-shirt. It's more than pencil skirts and selfies. You've got to be able to teach the difference between clean and unclean. And glory to God. Bishop said to him, be glory in the church. That's where we stand. Scripture is the final authority. There's a difference between clean and unclean. And to God, to him, be glory in the church. If it's not going to bring him glory, if it's not going to magnify the name of Jesus Christ, if it's not going to glorify God, then we don't care nothing about it. We don't want it done and, in fact, stop it and cut it out altogether. To him be glory in the church. If it's not going to glorify him, we don't care nothing about it. Glory to God. That's where we stand. That's what our chief apostle, our chief prelate and the presiding bishop, the chief apostle of this church, that is what he declared unto us, and that is where we stand. And so we thank God for that which he has done. We thank God for the word of God. It was the Lord that said in Second Peter, he said, we have a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto you do well that you take heed as unto a light that shines in a dark place until the day dawn and the day star rise in your heart. The word of God has said, we got a more sure word of prophecy. If we would just trust and walk in that which we have heard and received, God will bless and he will pour out power all over us and our children and our families, our congregations, our districts, and our local assemblies. We have a more sure word of prophecy. All we've got to do is walk in it and follow it. Glory to God. We give Jesus all the glory and all the honor and all the praise. We declare unto you, this is where we stand. We are not backing up. We are standing on the word of God. We're standing with the whole armor, not part of the armor, not half the armor, not two-thirds of the armor, not three-quarters of the armor, the whole armor, everything, from our loins all the way to prayer. We have the whole armor on, so we are able to withstand and stand in this evil day. We want to encourage you to uh, join us every first and third um, uh, Monday as we go before the throne of God boldly and confidently to find grace to help in the time of need. I want to say that we thank God for our national prayer team. We, of course, thank God for our presiding bishop and his cabinet. Thank God for all of our district fathers and superintendents. We thank God for every pastor and elder, all of our deacons, our Stevens and Phillips, that we have in, our, in this great church. We thank God for our superintendents of Sunday school, our mothers and evangelists, our teachers, glory to God, our ushers and greeters that smile with the power of Jesus Christ, that give a hug and a handshake, that invite an usher people into the presence of God, from the pulpit to the parking lot. We thank God for each and every one, and we thank God for those of you that have joined us on this call. And I declare to you right now, if you sacrificed and joined us on this call, I declare nothing but the power and the grace, the favor of God is all over you. It's over your life. It's over your bank account. It's over uh, your health and your prosperity. It's over your children. It's over your car and your land, your grass, the dog, how the, it's over all of it. You know why? Because he said in Job 42 that the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. And I simply decree and believe that as you have sacrificed time to pray for our leadership, to pray for your church family, the community, this nation, glory to God. Hallelujah. I thank God that he's turning captivity in our lives as we're focusing on others in the name of Jesus. We say, God, bless you. Let's go forward and make it a great day. Let the power of God be seen. Stand your ground. Stand your watch. Hallelujah. And let's give Jesus the glory. Let's love, hallelujah, as we stand in the name of Jesus. Let's go forward and make it a great day. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.